Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This is a discussion for Zero to Hero or 2H Semester 2 Session 2022-2023 Chapter 1 Reaction Kinetics Question number 1A For the reaction given Nitrogen gas was formed at rate 0 0.72 mole per liter per second First, write the rate differential equation for the above reaction Based on the equation given we have to write the differential rate equation. So, write rate equals to, when you have the coefficient, it will become the fraction. And for the reactant, it will have a negative sign and product will have the positive sign. Therefore, negative 1 over 4 d and H3 over dt equals to, you have 3 for oxygen. So, negative 1 over 3 DO2 over dt. Then for your product, 2 so positive 1 over 2 d and 2 over dt plus so for water 6 so positive 1 over 6 h 2 o over dt able to write this rate differential equation will give you one mark question number two calculate the rate of water formation given to you the rate of nitrogen the rate of nitrogen form equals to 0 0.72 mole per liter per second this is from the equation based on the differential rate equation that we write just now we compare question given for nitrogen and question want you to calculate for water so we compare between these two so from differential rate equation you compare between water and the nitrogen you write first the these two comparison between water and nitrogen or you can simplify the, the fraction from 1 over t and 1 over 6 become 3 d and 2 over dt. We want to calculate for the formation of water. So you just can substitute the value of nitrogen, uh, rate formation for nitrogen 0 0.72 into the formula. So we have 3 and positive d and 2 over dt is equal to this value 0 0.7. Press your calculator, then you get the rate of formation water equals to 2.16 molar per second. One mark for the comparison from the differential rate equation and one mark for your final answer unit in CIS. Question number 1B. Consider the reaction, the following, da the following data were obtained from three experiments using the initial rate method. Given to you experiment 1, 2 and 3, First question, determine the order of reaction for each reactant. So, de to determine the order of the reaction, first you write the general rate law. Rate equals to K, concentration of NO to the power of X, concentration of O2 to the power of I. This value of X and Y, actually it can be any unknown. A, B, M, N is up to you. Okay, write your general rate law. And... Uh, you have to remember that the value of coefficient given in the balance equation here too is not the order of the reaction. Order of the reaction you have to calculate from the value of experiment given. Now, perform your substitution. We compare between the experiment 2 with experiment 1. When we look at the experiment 2 and experiment 1, they have the same value for concentration of oxygen. So, when they have the same concentration of oxygen, means from this calculation, we will get the order of the reaction for nitro, uh, for NO. Substitute the value, compare experiment 2 with experiment 1, then you get your 4 equals to 2 to the power of x. So, 4 equals to 2 to the power of x is actually equals to 2 to the power of 2 equals to 2 to the power of x. So, x is equals to 2. Write x equals to 2. Then, write your conclusion. The reaction is second order with respect to NO. Don't leave your answer until x equals to 2 only. You need to write the conclusion. Therefore, mark will be given to you for the general rate law 1 mark, insertion 1 mark, and your conclusion 1 mark. Next one. We compare between experiment 3 with experiment 1. 
So we look at the data of experiment 2 and exper experiment 3 and experiment 1. They have the same value for NO. So when they have the same value of NO from this calculation, we can get the order of the reaction for oxygen. Substitute the value from the experiment that we have in the table. You solve it. You cancel out the value of K. Cancel out the value of NO. Then you get the value 2 equals to 2 to the power of Y. 2 equals to 2 to the power of y, 2 to the power of 1 equals to 2 to the power of y. y is equals to 1. Therefore, write your conclusion for the order. The reaction is first order with respect to O2. So, one mark you will get for your insertion and one mark for your conclusion order. Question number 2. Write the rate law for the reaction. After we calculate the order of the reaction, then now we can write the rate law. Write first your general rate law and write your answer for rate law. Substitute the order that we already calculated just now. Rate equals to K concentration of NO to the power of 2 or 2 to the power of 1. We we'll give you 1 mark. Question number 3. Calculate the rate constant. To calculate the rate constant, you can choose from any of the experiment, experiment 1, experiment 2 or experiment 3 data to substitute it into the rate law that we determined just now. So from here, I use experiment 1. So rate equals to concentration of NO to the power of 2, O2 to the power of 1. Substitute the data from experiment 1. Then you can get your value of rate constant equals to 25 molar negative 2 per second. So insertion will give you 1 mark and rate constant value will give you 1 mark with unit insist. Question number 2. So given to you uh, the equation, the balance equation, this reaction is a first order with respect to the ion complex given. With the rate constant, 6.3 times 10 to the power of negative 6 per second. If the initial concentration of the ion complex is 0 0.1, first, write the integrated equation for the first order. Okay, integrated rate equation for first order. So, it uh, depends on the concentration of the reactant, this one. So, write your integrated equation first order. So, ln concentration of ion complex initial over concentration of ion complex at time equals to kt. Make sure very carefully copy all of the ion complex. Or, you can use the alternative one. You let A is equals to your ion complex. And then you can write your formula. General. Long concentration of A node over concentration of A at time equals to KT. But make sure to write this assumption. Let A equals to your, to your ion complex. Okay. So one mark for the integrated equation. Question B. What is the molarity of the ion complex after 10 hours of the reaction? By using the formula of integrated that we write just now, substitute the value. Concentration initial is already given to you 0 0.1 molar in the equation, 0 0.1 molar. We want to calculate the concentration at time. The value of rate constant is already given in the equation 6.3 times 10 to the power of negative 6 and time given is 10 hours. To substitute into this formula depends on your rate constant. Rate constant given value unit is in second. Therefore, your 10 hours have to change to second. So, 10 times 60 times 60. So, you get concentration at time equals to 0 0.0797 unit in 6 molar. So, formula or insertion will give you one mark and final answer will give you one mark with unit insist.
Next one, calculate the half-life of the reaction. Half-life of the reaction. By using the formula of half-life for first order, half-life equals to ln 2 over k. The value of rate constant we already calculated from the previous question. We can use back the value of rate constant. Uh, no, the value of rate constant is given to you in the equation. So, we can use the value of rate constant to get the value of half-life. Ln 2 divided by 6.3 times 10 to the power negative 6 per second. So, your value of half-life equals to 110023 second. Unit in 6 in second since the value of rate constant given in per second. 1 mark for the formula or insertion. 1 mark for your answer. Question 3. The dimerization of one tributan diene in the gases phase is a second order. Second order reaction. An experiment was carried out at 300 degrees Celsius to determine rate constant for a birth reaction. When 0.1 molar C4H6 was used, the initial concentration was given. The initial reaction rate was given 5.83 times 10 to the power of negative 5 molar per second. Write the rate law for the reaction. Since we already know the order of the reaction is second order, so we can write rate equals to K, concentration of C4H6, which is your reactant here, to the power of 2. Refer to second order. One mark for your rate law. Question B. Determine the rate constant for the reaction at 300 degrees Celsius. For 300 degrees Celsius, by using the formula of rate law, substitute the value of concentration, uh, the value of initial rate that we have. Rate, initial rate given 5.83 times 10 to the negative 5 molar per second. And the initial concentration is also given to you, 0 0.1. Substitute and rearrange to get the value of rate constant. So, from this calculation, you get the value of rate constant equals to 5.83 times 10 to the power negative 3 per molar per second. Formula or insertion or rate law or insertion will give you 1 mark and final answer will give you 1 mark. Again, you need insist. Question C. By using the same concentration, Calculate the new rate constant for 400 degrees Celsius if the initial concentration rate given to you 1.7 times 10 to the power negative 3 molar per second. So again, by using the same method just now, calculate the second value of rate constant, the new rate constant at temperature 400 degrees Celsius. The same method that we used from the previous equation, substitute the value of rate Divide with the concentration given 0 0.1 to the power of 2. So you get the new rate constant equals to 0 0.17 per molar per second. One mark for your insertion and one mark for your answer. Again, you need insist. Question D. Determine the activation energy for the reaction using the Arrhenius equation. So this one, we need to use the formula of Arrhenius equation at two different temperature. Given the, given the data that we have is T1 is 300, T2 temperature 2 is 400, change it to Kelvin, change it to Kelvin. And the value of rate constant, the first one given in the question, 5.83 times 10 to the power negative 3. And the value of rate constant for the second one that we calculate just now, 0 0.17. So that's why I calculate the value of rate constant for T2, 400 degrees Celsius, the previous question correctly. Because we're going to use this value of rate constant for the next question. Okay, write the formula of Arrhenius equation for two different temperature. Ln K1 over K2 equals to EA over R1 over T2 minus 1 over T1. Substitute the value very carefully. You have K1 here but you have T2 first in the formula. Substitute very carefully. Press your calculator very carefully to get the answer for the value of EA equals to 108135 joule per mole. 
can change it to the kilojoule per mole divided by 1000. So, 108 kilojoule per mole. Formula of insertion, uh, formula of arginine will give you 1 mark. Insertion will give you 1 mark. And answer for activation energy will give you 1 mark. Again, you need insist. Total mark for this reaction kinetic is 24. Total up your mark. Whether you get the full mark or not. Okay. That's all for discussion O2H chapter 1 reaction kinetic. Good luck for your PSPM. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.